was the sound of a pentaoctotriposaurus. So this week, our theme is making paper cranes. Our school is doing this program where for every crane you give them, they'll donate $2 to Japan. I don't know if this is actually our school doing it or our school through an organization or what, but turns out the deadline for that was last Friday. So all the paper cranes we've been making this week can't go to Japan. We tried Japan, we tried. So now it's just a competition between the three of us to see who can make the most. This is how many I have so far. So for the most part, I was just making these cranes out of old pieces of schoolwork and stuff, but I actually went out and bought some legit origami paper and it's all Asian and stuff. So these will turn out nice and it's double-sided, so fancy. All right, let's get started. I'm a little disappointed that it really isn't two-sided when you make this. Like, there's a little red there and underneath, but otherwise, you don't need two-sided paper for cranes. Remember that. There are now 35 sheets of paper in here. I don't know if I really want to just, like, make 35 cranes right now and just, like, film it. But we'll get started on it, you know. So I don't know if you guys noticed this in my last video, but I actually um, have a feather in my hair now. It's right... No, that's not it. Where is it? Oh, oh here it is. No. Okay, clip out. Feathers. There. There they are. Funny story about those feathers. Um, I got them for free. They're usually... I don't know how expensive they are, but they're not cheap. And um, I got them for free because the lady who cuts my hair like actually burned my hair with a straightener right over here and she felt really bad. This was not last time I got my hair cut but the time before. She felt really bad and so she gave me a bunch of like free shampoo and like nice stuff for my hair and she felt so bad. And so last time I went and I got my hair cut she she noticed it and she, she was like, oh, I burned your hair, didn't I? And I was like, yeah. And she was like, oh, hey, um, do you want a feather? I'll give it to you for free because I burned your hair. And I was like, um, sure, sure, I'll take a feather for free. It's not the kind of thing I would have gone out and paid for, but it's it's kind of fun to have a feather in your hair, you know. To those of you out there who make paper cranes, how do you finish them off? I've seen some people who just kind of curl the wings down, don't actually fold them. Seen some people who fold them like flat, like this, and then pull the head and tail out. What I do is I fold the wings down like that, and then I pull on them, and I kind of like inflate the body a little bit. I feel like a makeup guru, except for paper cranes. Okay, I think I'm done making them for right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and count and just see how many I have. But keep in mind, today is only Saturday, so I have plenty of time to make more. And I'll finish up all the pages in the... <sighs> they all fell out. I'll finish up these, yeah. hundred and fifteen cranes and if I finish up that entire booklet I will have 47 so um Glenna and Travis beat that oh she kind of flew into the bag she was just like pew I don't know it's nice I like it 